Hello, today we're going to make some natural deodorant using products that most of us have in the house. If not, they're easy to obtain and I will leave a website where you can get some of the essential oils. The This deodorant is one of my favorites. It doesn't leave white powder or stains on your clothes and works really, really well. So Katie is going to help us and she's going to show you just how easy it is to make. She's 10 and she will be making it for us today. Katie, do you want to tell us what we need for our deodorant? Um, there's tea tree oil, sea salt. Not table salt, sea salt. Um, lemon oil, vitamin E oil, coconut oil, and baking soda. Okay, so we've chosen lemon essential oil today. I like the smell of lemon oil. Um, the smell of lemon. Lemon is a great antibacterial, antifungal. You can use lavender, any citrus, whatever your favorite smell is. So Katie, go ahead and start. You're gonna, we're gonna start with a tablespoon of sea salt. And again, sea salt, not table salt. Okay. A tablespoon of baking soda. And the baking soda is a great um, antiperspirant um, and absorbs a lot of the sweat. It's great. And about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Coconut oil is a solid under 76 degrees and a liquid over 77. And it's about 85 in our house right now. So it's pretty liquidy. We're going to mix this to a paste. And again, because it's so hot in the house, it's really not going to be a paste. It's going to be a lot more liquidy, kind of like cream of wheat or grits. And it's going to feel sandy when you're mixing it. Go ahead and mix all of that together. And if it's a little cooler, you may need a little bit more coconut oil, a little more than a tablespoon. And once that's mixed really well, we're going to add our vitamin E oil. And we're going to do three to four drops of vitamin E oil. And then we're going to do five to seven drops of the lemon oil. And lemon, it, lemon is great for fragrance. That's enough, Kate. And now we're going to do five to seven drops of tea, so five to seven drops of tea tree oil. And again, it's antibacterial, antifungal. I happen to be allergic to tea tree oil, so I don't put tea tree oil in mine. Then we're going to mix that all up. And again, it's really liquidy because of the heat in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to once that's mixed really well, pour that into a container and then put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. It will get solid, completely solid like a rock. But then it will thaw out a little bit and become a paste. And you can ju you just stick your finger. This is our container we're going to use. You stick your finger in there in the paste and spread it underneath your arms. And it works really well. The other thing is you can use alcohol, rubbing alcohol under your armpits one to two times a month to clean it off and that will remove a lot of the bacteria. Thank you for joining us today and y'all willing, you will be making wonderful deodorant shortly and enjoying it. Y'all bless. Have a wonderful day.